Do they have the happy and the super before the mega? For Glitch City? Super Mega Christmas Day? I mean, happy Super Mega Christmas Day? Shut up! Wait. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You guys that have all been waiting for this. Jager! Jager! Oh. How y'all doing, JCs? It's your boy, JC. And some of y'all just be disrespecting me. Well. Myself from Spain! But. I have two nicknames. It's JC and Josh. Or Josh Graffiti No Hunter Senpai. Okay then, then why do you call us JCs? That's a good question. You know what? Guess what? You can tell me in more detail what you mean by that in the comment section. This video is not about me. I'm just a slave. What? Welcome to episode 22 of the Valhall A series. Today, this is the Super Mega Christmas Party episode where... I really hope it is. I really hope it is. Watch me say all of this and it's just a normal day in Valhalla A. Oh, it's for next week. <laughs> so what it is basically guys is uh, we're gonna celebrate with the coming of Christmas Day, because this might be a really good episode. So we're gonna make this lit. So bring your snacky snacks, you know what I mean? Uh, your pomegranate juices, your uh, Ricola bars, your uh, uh, popcorn with the uh, drizzled honey, um, you know, your uh, Kit Kat bars, you know what I mean? Your uh, fruity pebbles, your pop tarts, your, 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 your pizza, chicken sandwiches. Bring it all, because we're going to go showdown. So if you guys don't have your snacks, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. So, I do this re religiously. You guys can know what it is. I have to check and see if there's music. But of course, there is no music. Man, would you just start the move video yet? I'd get raped. I don't know what... Shut up. Shut up. Alright, let's start the video, guys. You guys ready? We wait. Guys, if you don't know what just happened, if you didn't understand, just just unsubscribe and leave the channel. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm not even gonna explain it. Let's just. I I really hope y'all understand. Like, I I really hope y'all under. Good evening. Ah, oh, hey Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. Where's Gil? Did he run away again? Nah, I have him on an errand duty, buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds weird, coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds. So if we're gonna spend money, we might as well get more variety. Besides, those kind of walks are always good for Jill. Gil. <laughs> You're the boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's th the three of us. The dogs. You invited that titty hacker. Gil invited Jamie. Why is J 
I still don't understand why Jamie's here though. Like, why? Oh yeah, I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting. The more the merrier. I could, but I bet everyone made plan by... That's true. I'll be in my office. Call me anything sure it was. Alright. You know what pisses me off the most? There's still no new music. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Shut up! Wait here, I'll check inside. New character. Really. New character. Welcome to Vahal A. Her divine deliciousness. Mmm. And then she looked like she's just gonna cut it all off. Don't touch my sister. Uh, I don't like you. Uh, uh, I purr in your face. Uh, I don't like your face. Uh, you look like disgrace. Uh, to the family. I'm gonna be that family. Why do they look like they're posing for an IG pic? Oh, a BTC bar. Excuse me. Do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does that place make people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Minotaur Center. Jill, go to hell. Hold on, let me scribble the directions on the paper. You're not gonna scribble anything on- Thanks. Go to the right, and when you see a building filled with hobos, there should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Mm, eh, what the hell. I'll have a drink. What about you? Meep. So... Here you are. Thanks. That's an interesting outfit in this cold season, miss. Uh... Well, I'm actually cosplaying, so... Call me Fella for the time being. Ooh, that's a little... Who are you cosplaying as? Who are you calling... Who, who are you... Shut up! And your Leland friend is... Cynthia. I get it. You're cosplaying too? Have you ever heard of the game called... Yeet? Yeet? That cult classic game that has been seen like three mastered reversions made by six different companies this year? That one. We're in a cosplay group to get dedicated to it and we got lost on the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh yeah. A friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he enter? He'll be fine. Is so something I miss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm, wearing jeans under a skirt. No, no, don't spook the bartender. Spook? Anything else? I'll get a fluffy jeans. I'll get a fluffy dream and be on my way. I'm fine. So they're just past buyers. Ongoing past buyers. Nothing important. They're not canon. Here. Yep, this is the thing. Damn. I got dizzy pretty fast. I better stop here. Now that I think about it, just who are you? Um, Ascentia? Isn't she your friend? I guess. I don't know. I just kind of met her in a convention and she struck- and she stuck with me ever since. She also seems off, like there's something missing or- or thinking too much. Interference. Slow synchronization. Well, I won't hold you any longer. We should go. Bye. God dang, let me finish talking. Goodbye. Please, come again. Why the hell are you on the floor? Tased by the wedding, by the vending machines? I wonder if he said something to piss off Diddy or Gogo. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm not just overthinking it. More importantly though, jeans under a skirt. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey Dorothy. <laughs> Why does that always happen when Dorothy's around? She looks sad. Uh-oh, hi, honey. Are you okay? I just kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can Leland just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, uh, a sugar rush. Yeah, that. Right? Oh my god, they're doing this again, guys. Dorothy seems down. She asked for a sugar rush, but hasn't she told me about a drink that always cheers her up? 
pissing me off. Waste some time. Now I gotta get the perfect drink just for freaking Miss Little Sucker. Robot sucking. Hmm. There you go. This is. Did you say you liked having the piano woman whenever you felt like celebrating or you or were feeling down? I did. Wait. I did! You actually remember such a thing? Hey guys, this is what she always looks like when she's in bed. You're so sweet! I was half expecting her to just leave her mouth fully open. That's not her final form. Open your jaw! Open your jaw! That is not a jaw. That is a nose hook. <laughs> So much silence. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. No. Nope. So did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find that one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No. But don't go around telling me everyone that about that. I did it because it was you who needed my help. But a hug night was using one of my most expensive services. Hey, I don't know if the kind has a body odor or something like that. Not to mention it limits the chances of getting other client that night. Still, did it help? Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So, from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. Do you want to know more? Oh my god! Although I've wondered for a while, do you, Lelum, really understand death? Sorta, of, kinda. Our whole database is constantly be backed up in the rear end. Even though our bodies are destroyed, it could be developed, developed. Oh, deployed. We do have the fear of death. Hey, you should open up your nose hole. Maybe you can breathe. Oh wait, I forgot you're a robot. All right, I, I should stop, guys. Uh, maybe some of y'all actually like listening through all this dialogue, but I just feel like it's a time waster because I just want to get into the juiciness, you know, the juicy of the juicy. Because we already know Valhall A dialogue could go on f forever, you know? And like many other things, people distill and exaggerate what they need and they use it to their favor. Well, you're a nerd. Look who's talking. Let's change the subject a bit, though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know? It's a tad small, though. Sorry about that. Why are you... Mm. And your cat is so cute. What was his name again? Four. Why four? I figured if he ever got lost, I would at least want to be able to yell, Four! You're not funny! Every once, you'd be surprised how many golf players you run into. Every time you play with him, you can always say it's four play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was also named after someone. Really? Who? A Leland kid that wanted to transcend. What is this, did Detroit become human? God, jeez. What, a movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Want anything else? Let's see, do you know me well? Give me something I'd like. There you are. This one's pretty basic, huh? First drink ever created on this system. Still a favorite of the people of the t t t t t Can't blame them. I still can't believe you actually remembered what I said about the piano woman. It's always good to keep note of what regulars like, you know? I always wondered for a while though. Huh, <laughs> keep note. I always wondered for a while though. Why do you keep, keep coming back here? For you, of course! Come again? Why else would I come if not to see you? You're the one of the few people willing to hear me out, always filled with curiosity. And you're cute. Talking to cute people's always nice. Because if they were ugly, I would have to booty- There's also the bar, the way the insinu- Insulated from the noise of the city. It's really comfy. What? And it's just a bit away from the street I was at. It's a win-win situation. I see. It was weird to see you down though, especially since you're always so lively. Well, I wasn't down really. I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like what? Well, my mom, or my guardian, asked me to go home on Monday for a bit. And as much as I love her, being with her is usually tiring. Guardian? That whole thing about someone taking care of a Lelum after they deployed until they reach matur maturity, right? Yep. You can't tell me you haven't reached maturity, right? If you're a sex worker. What? Yep. 
and I'm proud to say that I reached for psychological maturity in just one year. They always try to keep in a variety of- So what's wrong with your guardian? Well, she still treats me like a kid. The worst part is that sometimes I fear that she might see me as some sort of replacement for a dead daughter. Dead daughter? I was deployed to her not long ago after she lost her daughter. A contrived coincidence, really. Even when I was still developing the self-awareness, I always feared that she might be using me as a replacement. She didn't though, or at least not consciously. At times, she would even just stop doing something and return a gift she's given to me. She felt like she was projecting too much of her daughter onto me. What irony that years later I had to make a living pretending to become someone else. Pretending to be someone else in the bedroom. How's that? Well, most of the time, my job involves role-playing a daughter, a student, some helpless kid, an African child with Ebola. It means I've gotten to gotten so many clients looking for exactly for that. But on the other hand, from a professional standpoint, I'd rather have them hire me because of me. Because of my character, not because I'm the one that role-plays as little girls. Are you a man? Screw y'all. I ain't a little girl. I'll stomp and pee on your mouth. This is the problem with your guardian then. If you do that on a daily basis, why worry about it? Because I don't want to make her sad. Every time I visit her, I fear she might look at me and see her daughter. That scene makes me... makes... Scene, that scene me... makes her sad. Will you dialogue correctly, you stupid whore? At this point, I don't even care if she's projecting her daughter onto me. I just want to make her feel sad. Did you try talking to her? Talking with her? How so? Telling her just what you said to me. Clear up those fears. I mean, unless she's not the kind to want anyone opening up to her, that is. I... Never really thought about it, talking to her about that. It doesn't sound like something you just bring up, though. Alma just said, hey. Jill, talk to your parents more about your problems. Now she's telling Dorothy, Hey, talk to your guardian more about your sex worker problems. Keep it in mind, at least. Maybe she'll appreciate the gesture. Yeah. Oh, isn't that your nose hole? I wanna know though. I haven't met her. She's a really nice woman. The problem is mostly with me, I think. Well then, I'm taking my break. No, you're not. We still got a lot to go, girl. Oh, I'll be leaving then. No, what I was trying to say is that I'm taking my break. Do you want to come? Really? If you don't mind talking on a chilly night in an alley behind the bar, that is. Eh, I've done worse in alleys. Get, get the hell out. Let's go. Shut up, boss. I'm taking my break. All right. Nani desu ka? Nani desu ka all you want, Japanese hoe. I'm gonna suck it up like it's a wet noodle. It's now safe to keep playing. So you guys never, we have never really rarely see this because we don't just jump into the next episode. Because sometimes I just cut it off and like, you know, I don't what? do the- You dead! You dead! There's nothing you can change my mind about. This looks like a more- My one? Are you really offering a little girl a cigarette? Now you're a little girl? I always am innocent, however is another matter entirely. But anyway, thanks, no. Thanks, no. Thanks, no. No, thank you. What is the dialogue, like I said? Smoking seriously messes up with my air filters, and they're a hassle to replace. Don't mind me, though. Smoke to your heart's content. Thanks. So don't want you telling me about this guardian of yours. Wanna, I wanna know what kind of woman she is. Well, her name is Sophia Graham. G Graham? She's a retired PE teacher. Nowadays, she works at the gym during the morning shifts. She's pretty fit, if I do say so myself. She had a daughter. Apparently, she suffered from nano machine rejection all of her life. And when she finally healed, she was hit by a truck. Um, what was her daughter's name? 
I don't know, I never asked really. Are you okay? I'm reading fear, or is that a surprise? It's hard to tell. I'm fine, yeah. Wait, read? Well, I don't see emotions like you do. I have to make do with my combination of body heat readings and facial recognition and contacts with the hairy ball sacks. I'm still a bit confused about some. I've gotten better with some time. Anyway, you're sure you're fine? Yeah, yeah. Scared of surprise. She's not wrong, though. Wait, does that mean that your last name isn't really Hayes? Hayes is just my artistic name. Sounds more exotic and it's what I'm gonna do. And I tried other names, though. Dolores Hayes. Genesis Graham. I've tried Dorothy Warrior once, but a legal team came out of nowhere and stopped me cold. So what's your legal name then? Rebecca Dorothy Willow Graham. A, a bit of a mouthful, if you ask me. So Dorothy's an actually your second name? Should I call you something like Becky then? People have always called me Dorothy rather than Becca, Rebecca for some reason. That's why I chose it. It's useful too, because people have tried to falsify their stuff using my name, and always get caught. Because they use Dorothy Hayes as their name? Yup. Only my mom, er, my guardian calls me Rebecca, so it's weird to hear, for, hear it from others. What about Willow? Willow's my first surname. Actually, when I got registered, my guardian was married to a guy named who had Willow as their last name. Shortly after I joined their household, they separated, so I was left with the family name first. Hold on. Your real name is, in short, would be Rebecca Willow? Doesn't have the same pizzazz to it if you ask me. Whatever you say, Becky. Stop it! It'd be like if I called you Julianne all of a sudden. <laughs> Jill, you're such a hypocrite. Whoa, that was anger I read just now. Lots of anger. I think it's weird enough you, already if you call me Jill instead of Honey. Weird, huh? How can you end up with feeling associated with a name associated with a name that's not yours? I have an uncle that's always called me Tina. <laughs> he always kept calling my cousin Tita, Tita Jill for some- Oh, that just makes the joke not funny. None of us minded though, because he's calling us what he thinks we're called instead of us. And that and it's completely useless trying to can correct him. But you know, maybe the effect is true for your clients too. How so? Well, you're worried about your clients not hiring you because you're you, right? But think about what happens if it's announced that a character will be played by a different actor. Sure, it's a character, but people are also going actor playing the character. So you're saying they'll go for my roleplay instead of just some mere roleplay? Sounds too far-fetched. Sounds plausible, actually. Okay, honey, I'll take my link now. Don't want to take up all of your break. Thanks for the chat. See you at the party tomorrow. Bye. Oh, that was boring. I need to remember to buy more cigars. No! Oh, music box again. Oh, yeah, that's right. Back! Did I miss something? Uh, unless you count the worst PPV main event fight I've seen all year? Not really, no. Alright. Going out? I have a word with Gogo -Go outside. He was so hyped for that munch. He must be devastated. Are you talking about the vending machine that is not even alive? Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, say. Hey, say to the eight, to the eight, oh, oh, I want to smash you in the popo car. Good evening, Jill. How are you doing? Oh, I love you, say. <laughs> the nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. <clears throat> um, how about. Jill, stop being so cringy! My bones are healing nicely, my wounds are finally closed. It, the scars itch a bit, though. Yo, strawberry milk sounds good. Are you guys drinking that? Well, it wouldn't really matter since it's not the mega super Christmas party thing episode. I'm sorry. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today. But I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from last time outside. Buster? Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she should just so see, so she so 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 see so see I so, 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 so ah I see. What can I get you? Something cold, sure. Cold, something cold for say. Look, I don't need no internet. I don't need no internet. It's just something with rocks. All right, guys. We know this, guys. 
You know this, guys. Let's do something sweet. So, we haven't done a sparkle. Well, like I said, we have to do something with all the rocks. So, we have to find something with, yeah, with the ice. I'm trying to do a sweet drink since, say, it's sweet. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Stop laughing at me. So, we'll do a moon blast. Well, is, it, is that the only sweet drink? Moon blast. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I think you'd like this one. Really? <laughs> so sweet of you. Thanks. So Stella isn't with you today? She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to a party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. I can't really say no to Stella. Yeah, because I'm her bitch. Of course you can't! Stella's trash! She's dookie water! <sighs> Maybe next time? Yeah, next year when freaking Jill's evicted out of her apartment and she's dead. Golly. Maybe next time. When is the next time? Next year? Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. I, I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers in our honor. Huh. I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's lots of foods and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food though. So at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever's left. God, jeez. The staff is usually the mom and the grandmas, like golly, and the aunties. She also buys toys for all of the children of her staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other of the day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling out her auntie Stella. Huh. Stella's always done her best to put up a tough girl sa facade, but she's ri very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party, and she's most likely to celebrate it in a big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I just stand there without anyone this anything this Is she your dog? Are you her puppy dog? Dang! Are you her puppy dog? Dang! That and... I'm not the one to wear dresses, you know. You're not. I'm tat- I'm a tattoo ripped, and they don't look good cute on me. A tattoo ripped? What are you, a, a bodybuilder on YouTube? Although with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit. I won't be as fit for a while. You still look ripped to me. You're so swole. I can't even get any arm muscle. I've been doing push-ups and it still doesn't work. You're swole. You're swole. They're too um breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember wearing my my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's... Hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses it a lot about her bus size. What bus size? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, she's the... It's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again. I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although I've com I guess comparisons are usually useless here. They rarely help with complexes. Well, she does go to the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. She must have big old titty bitty itties quickies. Suckies. I guess I never really cared enough to ask for the specifics. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hairs, her hair in those um drills. Yeah, they look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like she. Oh boy, getting tired. 
She styles her hair like that to divert the tension away from her chest. She seems fluent enough. Why not go through a reduction surgery? Is her boobies that big? Golly. Boy, those those things better be... Those things better be meat hanging from a freaking hanger, bruh. I'm talking about drooping down from a lava, a volcano, bruh. Like, I'm serious. Because she also likes kind of having the size. She takes her bus size after her mom, Miss Carmine, and is quite proud of her chest. Is everything about titties? Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. She says something along with those lines a lot. Still has blah 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 blah. I'm making it sound like she's hype. Hype. <laughs> Yo, I was about to say, uh, like, Jay. <laughs> Jacobs. I've never heard of Jacobs. I guess a taller and thicker person her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter and thinner than the door. Do you get self conscious about your bus size, Jill? No, not really. I've been more self conscious about my height. Although it's, it comes up whenever not being average height hinders me how somehow. What about you? Yes, and no. It's not my bus size, but rather I look too manly sometimes. I can't help but wonder if, if bigger boobs will help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, do you have something non-alcoholic? I do, give me a second. Oh my god! I don't know anything else that's non-alcoholic. <laughs> Are y'all here? Thanks. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? Makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's go so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's just not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb, and everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's... a good question, actually. Usually people like the feeling numb, because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even though we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food, or who are suffering from the pain that only elevates when drunk or high. Wow, they know about weed. Smoke weed Shut day. up, you Snoop Dogg! So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of other regulars. They'll bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness that Stella's throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Without Stella. Ho. Hey, say. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna check on one last errand before going home. No, I mean... What do you plan on doing now with the whole White Knights disbanded and all? To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared for a plan B because I figured if you could go with the plan B, why just not make it with the plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And I'm th too tired of blatant corruption. S sick of it. Oh. But I'm alive. Hmm? I learned something after all that hell in a Polo Trust. Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize that just how much I want to be alive. The body count in the bank was ridiculous. But I'm still here. And I don't know what I'll do, but I'm still alive. And I'm gonna figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill, and good luck with the party. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Hi, Mr. Detective. Hi, Mr. Detective. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Okay, then. I want you to here tomorrow at 8 p.m. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed. <laughs> Woo! Let's get it. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. Say no more, fam. Say no more. Alright. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored out of all of the things in his home because of how it close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hey, wait, hold on, wait a bit. I'll go with you. 
Oh, sure. Thanks. Alright, guys. We did it. I know this small party is what you need. So he gave us a bonus. Today's total transfer. Okay, we got 2,800 in the spank bank. I mean, uh... Merry Mega Christmas! Hold up, hold up, hold up now. Josh, I know you ain't just gonna spoil the next episodes. Really, Joshua? I have to save that, guys. You have to understand, I have to save that, alright? You know what? For that, your punishment, I'm taking over the outro. Screw you. Anyway. Alright, y'all. It's your boy JC in the future. So, uh, just, just real quick, we're gonna end this off like Josh was going to say, but he failed to get to the outro. Idiot. Okay, real talk though, guys, uh, that was episode 22 of Valhall A. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching and making it to the end. I know a lot of people probably don't watch this series anymore, but, um, yeah, cause we, I mean, I'm gonna be real, I'm a real dude, I'm gonna be real, I've been, I've been seeing the views on Valhall A, and I'm like, man, okay, okay, I see some, I see some people watching this, and then I look at it now, it's like, I, I think that's just in general, Josh. Sorry. They don't like you anymore. <laughs> but anyway, real talk. Uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this episode, regardless of uh, the view count. We're still gonna end this off with the grand epic finale that Valhall A already got us waiting for. We just gotta, you know, react to it. Play the episode. So, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in for that. Uh, uh, I guess I don't have anything else to say. I don't know if last episode is going to be the next episode, but I, I did heard, I did some research that we got three chapters. I think I said this before in the previous episodes, but we got like three chapters in total and then probably a couple days after, I think. So the game is still a little lengthy. I don't know because like I said, we probably have to build up to the actual ending which is like the the destruction of the Valhall A bartending place. So, you know, but anyway, I, I mean, we'll just, we'll see you guys. I really, I am really working so hard to get this out. So by the time, you know, next year, I should have everything completed for Valhall A. <laughs> I really hope, but anyway, um, thank you guys. I salute to everyone who has uh, been watching this so far. Make sure you guys get ready for them snacky snacks, them popcorns. Better get ready, because we about to get lit. All right. Thank you. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace. Woo, woo, woo.